depending upon its mounted orientation, which side of the octagonal shaped tail light or brake light is placed upwards as the unit is held vertically. The lucid brake light, which measures about three and a quarter inches across, has eight bright LED lights inside. The light has four options consisting of a steady blinking of lights where the LEDs flicker in a star-like pattern over and over, a flickering pulse of lights where the LED lights move in a counterclockwise motion, no lights illuminated until braking occurs, and finally a dim setting where all LED lights are lit up. The unit comes with a few pieces of industrial type Velcro so it can be attached to backpacks or a bike. It uses two AAA batteries and is turned off by facing it upwards putting it in a sleep mode. When installing the batteries, pay attention to the polarity, the plus and minus of the batteries, and install them properly. I believe when riding in the evening or early morning, it's great to have some type of flashing light or constant red light on the back of your bike or helmet. This is to show or bring attention to drivers and vehicles that you are out there on the road. So what is different about the Lucid brake light? It brings attention to riders behind you as well as traffic, letting them know you're slowing down or stopping. With the back of the light being flat, I've had a hard time finding or feeling comfortable with attaching it to a flat spot. The numerous helmets I own don't have a flat spot on the back, nor do I have a flat spot anywhere on my bike. To make it usable on the back of my helmet, I have gone ahead and rigged up a Velcro strap. It runs inside the unit with the cover off and placed between the batteries. The Velcro strap then runs through two bent holes in the back of my helmet and then around the unit again. The second time the strap is holding on to the cover of the Lucid brake light as it stays attached. With its accelerometer, it will blink fast before braking if a hard braking occurs or just illuminate when braking is going on.